Okay, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to make a regular Abby sticker catalog image for something that you want to put in the catalog or you just want to make an avatar sticker. Okay, you see what I have right now is one that has really pretty hair, but the, unfortunately, the thing about having really pretty hair is you're going to push alt and print screen. And then we're going to open up Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to close these two out. We're going to hit File, New. And any size is okay because we will just crop it later. So we're going to hit the square. Hit Control V. Then we're going to go on that Xbox. image then crop okay next thing we want to do is go over here and click layer and then pull layer 2 down so it will be under layer 1 and you can also add layers by going layer and new layer that's another way of doing it, but this is the easy way okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to click our magic wand tool. You can click on it, then hit delete, and then you see we still have some more spots. Delete again. But the problem with really, really pretty hair is that you have a whole bunch of little tiny green dots. It's possible to get rid of all of them, but for modeling and catalog images, I prefer to use an easy hair. As you see, there is a whole bunch of little tiny green spots. We can get rid of them, though, by clicking them and hitting delete with our magic wand. But for right now, I'm just going to show you the easy way of doing this. So I'm going to close this out, and I'm not going to save it. And we're going to minimize this. So what I'm going to do is find it easy here that we don't have problems with. So let's load this one here. It's really easy. It doesn't have holes in it. So let's close that and let's get a little bit closer to our avatar. And we're going to hit Alt Print Screen again. And File, New. Always better to be big than too small. So we need to click on the square box, hit control V. Okay, we're going to click on that so we can crop it. And no, this isn't perfect, so we're going to hit image, crop, and then click on that. And we will do it the other way, layer new layer say okay and we're gonna go over here where we see our layers and pull the second layer under the first and make sure that the layer one is highlighted so now we're gonna click on our magic wand which is right there click on it hit delete click on the other side delete and then Delete that too. And I see a little tiny bit of green under her hand. So sometimes we can just click it and other times we have to magnify it like two or three hundred so that we can see it. So let's click the square box again. And so you see we have a picnic image. There's no green in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to fix her up a little. We are going to hit where it says FX. And that would be the layer style. We want to give it a drop shadow. And you can see the drop shadow. So we want to make the distance a little larger. That's okay right there. 
we will do something more with the drop shadow let's see okay we are gonna give her an outer glow how about that click the outer glow and we want it to be pink so I'm just clicking on that okay and then the spread and then size oh, it's not coming with me you make it as big or as little as you want to but I don't like it to be too too big so I'm gonna hit OK and right here where we enlarge the photo I wanna go to you can click right click it and hit actual pixels so we can see what this picture is actually going to look like and the outer glow needs some fixing because it's just two two okay that looks a little bit better I just brought it back to one okay so now we're going to go to text because I'm going to just put goddess designs on here and we're going to click the color pink again say OK and we need to find a font a pretty font I would say at that Doo -doo -doo. I have too many fonts as you can see and that can be a problem at times because there's too many to choose from but we all deal with them okay I'm just gonna use that one and I'm gonna type goddess designs and then click on the square and then we're gonna do layer styles drop shadow distance just a little and then we're gonna add some satin to it and make it look kinda pretty and then bevel and emboss and where it says inner bevel I'm gonna go to emboss click OK unless you want to do something else but that's the basics of making a sticker Abby or something for your catalog so we want to save as pignake PNG and name it whatever you would like goddess D sticker and I'm gonna save it da, da, da. no you don't need an inner lace so just click OK and so that is part one of the tutorial and if you have any other questions feel free um, just to ask away thank you and you guys have a nice day